Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was easily one of my favorite movies of 2018. I instantly fell in love with its unique visual style, and I have been on a hunt for any information I can find on the techniques that the animators use to achieve this style. For the past few months, I've been attempting to recreate those techniques inside of Blender. But more on that in the future. Today, we're going to be going over how to mix together characters that are animated on variable frame rates of twos and threes with a camera that is animated on ones. This video is less of a tutorial and more of a breakdown and an explanation of how and why I went through this process. But before we get started, I'm going to give a brief explanation on what it means to animate on ones and animate on twos. To put it simply, animating on ones means that every frame of the animation, a new image is going to appear. Or in this case, a new image of the character is going to appear every single frame of the animation. And likewise, animating on twos means that every two frames, a new image will appear. And then you can extrapolate that every, for threes, every three frames, for fours, every four frames, and so on and so on. For the most part, Modern 3D animation is animated on one, but Into the Spider-Verse plays with these frame rates. In some shots, a character will be moving on twos, whereas in other shots, they'll be moving on ones. And sometimes, even in the same shot, they'll go from twos to ones to threes and all over the place. They use the varying frame rates to achieve their artistic direction and get the effect that they need. Seems simple enough, right? Well then, let's get started with the test animation and see how it works out. So here's our test animation of Spider Suzanne swinging around the city on invisible webs. And it's a pretty simple animation. Right now it's all on ones. The character and the camera are moving on ones. To go from our spline animation to animation on twos, we have a couple of options. Our first option is to go into the graph editor. Now here we can go in and for each channel of our rigs animation, we can add a modifier to turn the curves into stepped interpolation. This achieves a animation on twos or you can change it to threes or fours or whatever you want. While this method works, I prefer to bake my animations. So to start with, I'm going to go to the dope sheet editor uh, instead of the graph editor. Make sure we're in Action Editor, scroll over to our action name, I'm going to rename this Animation on, or Animation Splined. Alright, and now I'm going to make sure this uh, shield icon is lit up. This will protect our splined animation from being deleted, so we can always go back to it if we need to. Go to the search menu and type in bake action. And we get this operator that will allow us to bake every single keyframe or every single pose of the animation into its own keyframe. And I'm gonna make sure it's stepped up. So I'm gonna make sure we're on frame step one. That's how often it's gonna bake. So every frame it's gonna bake. Make sure our start and end frames are right. Make sure only selected bones is on, visual keying is on. I'm going to turn off clear constraints and clear parents. Make sure override current action is off and bake data is set to pose. Now I can hit OK and this will run. Alright. Now if we play through our animation, everything looks good. And we can see in our dope sheet editor that we have a whole bunch of more keyframes now. And with all of these selected, I'm going to hit T and turn the interpolation to constant. And our animation is still playing the same as it was before. All right. So uh, real quick, I'm going to rename the action to animation on twos. I'm going to hit that shield icon to protect it from being deleted as well. 
And now what I can do is I can go through and delete the keyframes that I that I want it to be a, uh, a hold frame. So when I want it to be on twos, I'll just delete every other frame. And if I want it to be on ones for a section, I'll just leave those keyframes intact. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, so now we are back in. We have a good win through and I removed I removed pretty much every other frame except for one portion of it where Suzanne lands on this bus. I kept on ones just for a portion where she lands. And now if we look at this in uh, our world space, we can see let's go to this part, zoom in. If we toggle through, move in one frame, she moves, move another, she's static. Move one frame, moves, another frame, static. You can see it moving. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Now let's look at it through our camera that is still moving on ones. Here you can, oh yeah, you can really tell right here that there's this really bad jitter happening. So the problem we're getting is that every time the model enters a hold frame or it goes into uh, twos, on, that, on the hold frame where it stays static, the camera is moving. So what you're getting is the model is moving away from the camera and then on the next frame when it's back to another pose it's jumping back to where it originally was so you're getting this jittering of it of the modeling freezing jumping back into place freezing jumping back into place which causes this jitter which looks really bad in order to solve this let's first take a look at a clip from the movie and go frame by frame through it to see how they're able to achieve this effect so here I have this clip. It's a clip of Miles swinging around, jumping off of some cars. So if we go frame by frame, what we can see is if I hold my mouse cursor right here, if I go here, I hold my mouse cursor right where his foot is. If I go to the next frame, you can see that according to the camera, he is not moving at all. None of his limbs are moving, his jacket isn't even moving. The only thing that, moving, that is moving on him is the spider web. It's flapping in the wind. Then we go to the next frame, it changes. We go to the next frame, and now he's back on ones. Now here he's on twos. If I go forward and back, making sure that he is on twos according to the camera, which he is. But you can see that the environment is still moving, but he stays perfect, perfectly in place according to the camera. Now, if we go forward, we can see something interesting. Once he lands on the, this truck here, you can see going forward, he's still on twos. But the shadow or the, yeah, the shadow and the reflection that he is casting on the truck is moving, despite the fact that he is not. If we go forward again, you can see, once again, he is completely static to the camera, but his shadow is like swimming across the truck as, as the camera is still moving on ones. When we go forward, we can see this again. Like here, not only is the shadow and the reflection changing, but he is now hovering off of the truck. There's no contact shadow between him and the truck. So what I get from this is that when Miles is moving and he's in a hold frame, he is also moving with the camera in order to appear as if he's not moving, but in the world space he is. So we need to create this effect where our character is moving in world space according to the camera, but only when it is in a hold frame. If we go forward just to show off this some more. You can see here that He's not moving here, but the lighting on him is changing, as well as the, the lighting that he is casting on the environment. And you can actually tell that while his pose isn't changing at all, 
his uh, foot is actually somewhat displacing or deforming to stay in contact with this bus right here. Even though it's for a single frame, you get a little bit of deformation there so that there's contact shadow. Even though like in other places you don't see that. Well, here you see it again. The shoe is deforming along the bus. But back on the other uh, bus it, or truck, whatever that is, it wasn't doing this. So in order to achieve that in Blender, what I did was I used Python to do this. I created a script where it would detect when the character was not moving and then it would create an empty and keyframe that empty to follow the camera but only when the character is not moving. So I took that script that I wrote and I actually turned it into a miniature add-on. It's really simple, just a couple, two operators in one setting. So I select my armature here, and I'm going to hit detect hold frames, and it's going to go through and it's going to bake that empty like I was talking about. So now if we play our animation, you can see we're still getting that jitter. That's because I have not parented the armature to that empty. So I'm going to hide the environment. And I got this empty here that's named camera hold frame offset bake. And if I go to it, it's at the world space. And I'm going to change its uh, draw shape so it's clear. And if I play the animation, you can see that it's jittering just like our character is jittering. So I'm going to go to a frame where it's at 0, 0, 0 in the world space right here. I'm going to select our proxy empty or our uh, proxy armature. Shift select the empty. Control P parent to object. And now if I bring everything back. I'm going to turn off uh, overlays. Now if I play it, the character is completely static to the camera. We're not getting any of that jittering like we were before. And that's because that empty is basically counteracting that jittering. And here is a comparison between our final result and the pre-baked jitter that we had. Now this is only my guess as to how they actually achieved this effect in the movie. I don't know with 100% certainty because I obviously didn't work on it so I don't know how they did it but based on the results I think it's a pretty similar solution. Now this add-on will be made freely available on Gumroad. There will be no minimum price set so you can name your own price. If you want to get it for free you just put in zero and download it. Or you can uh, leave me a tip if you're feeling generous. I will also be putting the add-on on Blender Market if you prefer to get it on there. I don't think you can put any free add-ons on there so there will be a small price on that one for anybody that prefers Blender Market. And with that I will see you in the next video. Bye.